Today I wanted to do a quick explanation about the mod matrix module in Zebra and that's the one you see at the bottom right here so let's open up a new oscillator and let's choose the mod matrix as a modulation uh, target no not target as, as a modulator so we can right click on anything and select mod mix one um, in the list there and then I'm gonna oh no I'm gonna use mod mix 2 because I already used one so I've set it on the tuning of uh, oscillator 2 and I'm just gonna insert a filter here too so that we don't get def okay and now here in the mod matrix, uh, sorry, on the mod mixer on the right, we can see that we have uh, three fields here where it says none and one here, and we can click here, and we can choose between uh, three different modes, and we have the sum modulation, and then it um, just adds all the modulators that you choose here. So if you choose three LFOs, it's gonna modulate the target that you set it to. So for example, now it's set to the tuning then it's going to modulate with the three LFOs that you um, choose here and this will add to the output of the modulation so um, it will get more intense then we have a uh, scale sum by constant and this is the constant and this is almost the same you still choose three modulators and they are going to modulate the, that target but now the constant means that it's gonna act sort of like a dry wet control so I can demonstrate that for example if I choose LFO 2 for this one and then LFO 3 and then LFO 4 now they all go to the tuning but the constant knob acts like a, a dry wet so now there's no modulation start to turn it up while in the first mode there is already modulation when it's all the way down it just adds to that uh, modulation and makes it more intense but I think the most interesting mode for now or at least for me is the fade 1 2 by 3 and this means that the third a modulator that you set here is gonna change the amount between uh, the two above so I've got an example here with oscillator 1 I set up my uh, mod matrix and the first modulation uh, the first modulator is the LFO2 and that is this one over here the second one is envelope envelope 2 and then we have MSEG1 and that is setting the amount between the, it's switching between the two modulators so here we see that MSHG1 and the first bars it's all the way to um, envelope 2 and then it goes to LFO2 and then to envelope 2 again so it's kind of fading between the two modulation targets so let's see what that sounds like <laughs> So when it's um, the stop line, it's gonna modulate with the envelope, which is set to loop. And then here it's gonna switch to the LFO2. So if I set this like this, everything will be LFO2. for the filter right now and set it just to the tuning we can quantize that maybe to four okay and now if we want to um, well what we can do for example I think that will be a, a cool example is if we 
uh, delete the envelope too for now as modulation as as modulator and keep saying it wrong and we choose LFO3 we can make another melody with LFO3 so we set it to user and sync to gate uh, for example we could do it half time so we set this one to 1.8 while the other one is set to 1.16 and then we give it 8 steps here in the steps field and then we make another melody so it's not really a melody but okay we right click and quantize it and now we can um, well I'll show you when I play the sound so for that first part it's gonna take the slow LFO and then this one is gonna be the, the fast LFO because this MCG is switching between the two targets so that's pretty cool and we can for example set this one to 132 can also slowly um, fade between the two, it doesn't have to be an immediate, uh, immediate switch. And that is in most cases not going to sound that good on, a, on the tuning but on a filter it would. So if we set a filter here, VCF2, we delete this filter for now. And we right click and we say mix 2, full amount. We have to, um, oh sorry, we were on mod mix 1, this one. So we can, let's see, make this one more extreme. Oh, it's a little bit extreme. Oh, this one is too extreme. Let's set this one to a saw down, so it's gonna give more plucks and more pluck type sound. And then we can also, because we can use it for as much stuff as that we like, so we can also set it to the res resonance now. Would be a little bit dangerous, but... Maybe even on the volume. Okay, so th those are some ideas for the mod mixer, and uh, I hope you have fun with that. It's really cool, and uh, see you next week.